Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Lauren. Um, first of all, thank you to all the new subscribers and for helping me to reach 10,000 subscribers, which like mind blown, honestly. And some people may laugh at that because like 10,000 subscribers is still like small compared to the people that have millions of subscribers. But honestly, for me, 10,000 is like a huge milestone. Never in my right mind when I started my YouTube channel did I ever think that 10,000 people would want to subscribe or want to watch me. So I really, really just want to give a huge thank you to all of you. And I do have a giveaway video just to show how much I love and appreciate you. Um, it's going to include things that I love, which Obviously, I'll have some Louis Vuitton because I love Louis Vuitton and I'll have some Aritzia in there too. So stay tuned for that. I think, I don't think it's my next video. My next video is actually another Aritzia one because I did pick up things during Black Friday and um, Cyber Monday. So I have four items, but I'm waiting for another, I think, four to be sent to me. But this video is going to be on my Aritzia winter coats and jackets because honestly, they're an investment and they're worth it in my opinion. So in my last video, which was my Balenciaga unboxing, I had posted a picture um, wearing the slouch coat and so many people on that video asked me like, hey, in your thumbnail, you're wearing this jacket, what is it? And then I posted on Instagram and same, like people are like, what is that jacket you're wearing? Um, so I thought it would only be appropriate to film a video on my coats and my jackets from Aritzia because they are an investment, 100%, but they are well worth it. I feel like I, probably 99% of my winter coats and jackets are from Aritzia and they have lasted for a fairly long time. I've been buying them now, I don't know, since I came down to Vancouver for university I and I first like was introduced to Aritzia, I've been buying all my winter coats um, predominantly from Aritzia. So, um, it's definitely worth it. I also buy my mom all of her winter coats and jackets from there too and she loves them. She thinks the quality is really great and my mom's like, I would say fairly picky. So I'm going to go through them all. I have wool coats, I have puffers as well. So I also have a, another video on the super puffs if you want to watch that. Um, and you can also go watch my friend Antonia who is on here as Hello Harley. She has like every single piece of clothing you can imagine from Aritzia, I swear. Um, so I'll link her down below because she has a million Aritzia videos. So you can definitely find anything that you want to know about any item on her channel. So um, yes, without further ado, without me talking, I will just get into the video now and show you these coats. All right, so we're gonna start with wool coats and I thought I would start with the wool coat that so many people were asking me about and this is the Babaton a slouch coat. So this is the coat I was wearing in my last video and in my Instagram post and people literally went crazy for. Um, I picked this up last year during the Black Friday sale and this is in the color Coco Sands and right now it is $3.98 on, on Aritzia. These are all Canadian prices as well. So. It's a little bit of them on the more expensive side, but like I said, it is like a complete investment because like I picked this up last year and I wore it nonstop. Same with this year. I wear it with everything. Typically I wear it with like sweatsuits like this. Um, this is from Aritzia. This is the extra, extra AF? I can't remember. This is like the mega like sweatpant and then I have it with the cropped boyfriend um, hoodie. I'll link everything down below. Um, but I typically wear it like this. I just think it looks super cool, super, it just like elevates any sort of, um, outfit. It is lined, which I do like, so it adds some warmth, but it also, um, helps prevent like irritation of my skin because I am allergic to like a lot of wool. This is recycled camel, which I do like, so, um, it is going to be more sustainable. And like, I literally swear to you, every time I wear this jacket out, somebody stops me and asks me where I got this jacket from, or they say like, ooh, I really like your jacket because honestly, it's just so elevated, it's so cool. So slouch is definitely my favorite. I know that my friend Antonia here on YouTube, she's Hello Harley, you know her, everyone knows her because she's queen of Aritzia. Um, she picked up the Rocco, um, and I did look into that, but I really like the extra kind of slouch and the double-breastedness of this um, jacket here. So there you go. First one 
is the slouch. All right, the next jacket I have to show you is by Group by Babaton, and this is their Lux Lounge jacket. I have this in the color Heather Comet. I picked this up in a size small. This is now two years old, I believe. This is made out of merino wool, so while I do have a wool allergy, merino wool is generally okay, or any sort of like boiled wool is generally okay. Um, I would say that this fits a little bit more snug. This is not lined, please note that. So this I would typically only wear near the beginning of winter or sort of like the end of winter. Um, it's also a really good sort of spring and fall jacket, but it's definitely not as warm. I mean, I'll be get, it doesn't get very cold here in Vancouver to be honest, so I could wear this out right now. I'm like sweating pretty hard because um, I'm inside filming this, but um, I do really like it. It does have like these long slits on the side, so it just allows for a little bit more movement. I think that this one is super cool too. I love the color. It's very kind of casual. Um, but um, there are pockets here. I will say that this pills quite a bit, so you do need to um, go through with like one of those defuzzers or whatever they're kind of called. All right, so this next jacket that I picked up is the Stedman, which I feel like so many people have because it is a classic. Um, you can see it's brand new because I obviously still have the tags on as well as this stupid thing. Please do not leave this part on because it's meant to be taken off after you get the jacket. But this is in the herringbone, um, black and white, if it focuses, there you go. I do like that it is a herringbone. It's not just like a solid kind of black. I feel like that adds a little bit, um, kind of an extra detail. This one is dressier um, than the last two. It is also more fitted than the last two. I picked this up in a size small. Typically, I would say I'm like an extra small, small. Most of my jackets I tend to size down in, but this one I got in just a small so I could fit hoodies underneath it and it could be like a little bit dress, um, bigger as you can kind of see. I will say that the arms might be a bit kind of long, but I can just sort of cuff them once and it will be okay. Um, this is not the lined Stedman, so please note they did come out with a lined Stedman this year. The only part that's lined is the arms, but that's okay because if I wear like sweatshirts underneath then I'm not going to be irritated by the wool. Double check, this one is predominantly wool and um, like I said, the arms are also lined, which is kind of nice. This one is regular 328. I got this on deep discount during the whole Cyber Monday um, I might actually still be on sale, but I got it for I think half price like 164 or something crazy like that So it was a really good deal and again, it's just gonna be a perfect staple um, looks really good with sweatpants and um, Like I said, it's a bit more dressy so I could definitely wear this with like jeans and you know like a turtleneck like a nicer sort of sweater but um, I really like this one. Okay, so I do need to hurry because the sun is beginning to set. It is about 4 p.m. It's after work on Tuesday, and um, I decided to film because it's like one of the only sunny days I think we're having this week. This um, is not from Maritzia, surprise, because so many people in my Balenciaga video had asked me if this was the Ghana Long. No, this is a dupe. This is from H&M. Um, I picked this up probably two months ago. I don't know if it's still on the site. Um, I will try and link it if it is, but this one is wool and polyester, so the quality is definitely not the same as Aritzia. It is lined, though, all the way through, which is nice, um, but the quality is definitely a little bit different. You can feel it, but this was also, I think, only like $60, so the price <laughs> is like a quarter or like a third of what you would typically kind of pay from Aritzia, but um, the definitely there's definitely a difference in quality, but I do really like this. Um, I also get a lot of compliments on this one, I think because a lot of people think it is from Aritzia, but it's not, it's H&M. All right, so this is my only other non-Aritzia jacket that I'm gonna show you. Um, this one is part wool as well as part leather. You can kind of see on the sleeves. This is by Opening Ceremony. I picked this up last year. This is a unisex jacket, so I picked this up, I think, in a size small. Um, I love this coat. It's just so cool. Um, I remember when I first got it. I picked it up last year from Essence, I think maybe for like, 
$400 or something on sale during their Black Friday um, or maybe it was Boxing Day. I think it was during Boxing Day. But um, I remember I wore it into Aritzia and all the girls came running to me and they're like, where'd you get your jacket? We've been trying to get one. But Opening Ceremony, I think, is a very kind of cool brand. So I love it. It has all these like patches and everything kind of like on the arms. And then there's another big one on the back. But it's just so cool. It's very warm. This is like an amazing quality as well so i would definitely suggest if you're looking for kind of like this old school kind of varsity jacket the opening ceremony is the way to go all right so this is the next one and this is the cloud puff or the cloud i believe from wilfred i picked this one up last year so mine is in that um vegan leather but they also came out so they came out with the black and then one like the color of my couch so like a cognac color i have this in a size extra extra small this one fits i would say fairly oversized um i did try on the extra small and it looked kind of like massive on me like i am wearing a fairly large hoodie underneath and like i have so much room with this um jacket so i wouldn't wear it with this outfit ever um this one's definitely a little bit more dressy this one is fairly warm, I would say, as well. The cloud is just such a nice option if um, you're not really into the Super Puff. It doesn't have a hood um, like the Super Puff does, but um, I think that it's a good alternative to it. So this is the cloud. Um, I think the cloud, it varies in price. I think it starts around like 328 though. So now we're moving on to my favorite jackets from Aritzia, and these are going to be the Super Puffs. I have a whole video on um, my Super Puffs as well as the new like 2020 or 2021 version of it uh, in the matte one. So I picked this up, I think like the very first year it came out. This is in the long matte black. I will say that this one sheds a lot. So watch my other video that shows how they've updated the fabric. Um, size extra extra small I'm not going to talk too long I love this go watch my other video if you want to know more about it and then I have the super puff in the regular length as well this is in a high gloss this is a high gloss rose I believe I picked this one up last year same size I wear all my super puffs in a size extra extra small um, and I still feel like there is enough room to wear hoodies and larger sweaters underneath. I love this one. This one I picked up last year. It does not shed at all. I feel like the high gloss might be a little bit better um, for preventing like feather loss, but um, I really like this one. Hi, Antonia, if you're watching, because I know that you love the color red so much. She hates it, so I always have to show her Ooh, and rub it in her face. <laughs> And then this is the newest Super Puff that I picked up, and I picked this one up this year. This is the Liquid Shine. So if you look at it, it has almost like a velour or velvety type of look to it, even though it's not. I do really like this one. I wear this one probably the least, I would say, just because it is sort of like a cropped version. I tend to wear the long one a lot, but I think this looks good with like the crop kind of top I'm wearing now. It just kind of suits it. So this is the Liquid Shine. All right, and this one is also from Aritzia. It is not an Aritzia brand. I picked this up two years ago from the Robson Street location here in Vancouver. Um, this is by Alpha Industries. You can always tell by like the red tag um, on the side. This is just a bomber jacket. Um, it ha is reversible. There's like bright orange on the inside. I picked mine up in an extra small. They are kind of unisex. I wish I had picked it up in a small just to have it more of that kind of oversized cool look, but yeah, this one I think was like $200 at Aritzia. Um, I will link them. I know that they sell them. Well, they used to sell them on Revolve, but um, I will link this as well. But um, sometimes Aritzia carries other brands. Like I know I also picked up like a Holden snowboard jacket back in the day. Um, so I don't know. Once in a while they'll sell some like different brands. I'm not sure if they're still doing that. Like I said, this was about, I picked this up two years ago now but this is um, the Alpha Industries Bomber Jacket. All right, and then this is the last one. I actually have two of these. This is the Skylar Trench. I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a winter coat. Vancouver, like I said, it doesn't get super, super cold, so I wore this over top of like a uh, oversized hoodie and jeans, and I was definitely warm enough. Um, like I said, this is the Skylar Trench. Um, 
I picked this one up last year. I also picked it up in the gray, like the periscope color. Um, and this is nice and waterproof, so it's perfect for Vancouver. It doesn't have a hood, but um, I really like this. And like I said, if you live in like a warmer place like California or something, then you could definitely get away with wearing something like this probably in the winter. But I really like the oversized look of the Skylar Trench. I got this in, I think, a small... And then my other periscope is maybe in an extra small. I can't remember, but um, yeah, so this is it. Here, that's the last coat I have to show you. So those are all my coats and jackets from Maritzia. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I have got to go because the sun is now beginning to set and I am sweating from wearing all those jackets inside. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.